Hello, this is the presentation of the capabilities of EC2 when cooperating with CSI's eTabs. For this example, we are going to model an actual complex building which has already been designed and constructed in Belgrade, Serbia. The building is part of a big complex called Blue Center building and it consists of four independent structural units. These units are part of the whole building and here we are going to design one of them. These units are regular plan and are 10 stories high, 8 stories and plus 2 basements. We will see them in an AutoCAD drawing. Here we see that the building is irregular in plan due to this corner. It is a flat slab system consisting of reinforced concrete walls. It is a wall equivalent flat slab system and some moment resisting frames in order to further support this corner on the left. We see its level of the building which is the same layout and the two basements which have a more normalized layout. We have basement walls in the two of the four directions and also we have different materials for slabs, columns, beams and also per level. Here also we see the layout of the reinforced concrete walls which are going to be designed as these complex sections within EC Tools. This is a capability of EC Tools using its section analysis software called NUS which is an, in, an included applet of EC Tools and this section analysis allows to model and analyze and check these very complex geometries other complex and other non-complex obviously. So we see first of all the model in our etabs. It has already been created for brevity. The model consists of 1D elements for beams and columns and 2D elements, cell elements for walls and slabs. The walls have also been given a peer name assignment and this peer name assignment is the same for each wall for all of its height. On the other hand, the perimeter basement walls have not given a peer name in order not to design them as seismic walls. This is how EC Tools differentiates between seismic and non-seismic walls. We have defined the material properties of concrete and the reinforcement. We have defined all the sections, beams, columns, walls. It should be noted that for T-beams we have defined a modifier in order to modify their actual weight and mass due to the fact, and also their cross-section, due to the fact that the slabs, the elements of the slabs, actually cover the flange, meaning that if we model the beam accurately and also the slab with the cell elements, then we have doubled the flange weight and thickness and uh, stiffness. Therefore we include these stiffness modifiers which are rather important. Then we also define static load cases which are the dead, the live minimum required and we also have a snow and wind here and we also have the equivalent static in the X direction, equivalent static in the Y direction of the seismic loads which can either be user loads as inputted here or user coefficient as shown here. We also define the response spectrum cases with the spectra selected accordingly. We define the mass source from loads dead plus psi2 the live which is 0 0.5 the psi2 and after we run the analysis, which have already done here also for brevity, we print the input and output tables from the analysis. We select all the options from the input tables, we print to file, we select a file name, for here it is block 26 building B1 input, we obviously select OK, and analysis output also we select all available options and we also select the loads that we are going to use, meaning the dead, the live, the EX 
and EY spectral loads, the EX and EY equivalent static loads, and the snow and wind combination. We also select print to file. We select the file name and we apply OK. We will also see that the load combinations we have created are the wind and snow combination, which will be designed also by EC tools additional to the automatic combinations according to Eurocode 8 that will be created within EC tools. We can then minimize all close items and we open easy tools by opening running easy tools from its icon here we open the first tray which is design and we come up with this window in this window we have the general options where we select which software we have used for our analysis it absorbs CIA, CIA engineer and we also select the file name of the log file that will be created with all the analysis and design checks and results. We also select the report language of our main report, which can be English, Greek, German, French, Dutch, and Italian. We also select the design options, where we select Eurocode 2 and Eurocode 8. We select a medium that tilt design. It's not an uncoupled wall system, it's not an inverted pedal. We don't have regularity in elevation. We have a control period of 0.6, an important class of 2. We don't have a Q0 override. We do not ignore compression. We select the national annex of Eurocodes, which for us here can be either Greece, Italy, Germany, France, Romania, Czech Republic, Belgium, Cyprus, Austria, Slovenia. We select, for example, Austria. Then we have the checks, the Eurocode 8 checks, which is the second order effect, the seismic joint width, the infill sensitivity, the torsional sensitivity of each story, and the exception of the joint capacity, meaning that if it is a wall equivalent system and it has no torsional sensitivity or low torsional sensitivity at all stories, then the joint capacity check may be excluded. And how do we decide upon that? We go to joint capacity design in the X and Y direction and we select from checks. If it is from checks, then if it is that these two conditions, torsional sensitivity exception or joint capacity, are approved, then we can not avoid the joint capacity design or else we have to do it. There is also the manual selection of always doing it or never doing it. We have the automatic generation of combinations, giving the Psi 2 factor. We also have that the seismic loads come from model analysis. We select the environment for our and the importance factor for our design. We select Ray 30. We select our rebars and our transverse reinforcements. And we have finished our selections. We can save all these selections as a project file, which is, for example, block 26 ETP, which is what we clicked in order to start. And the next time we click it, we'll just come up with this window with all the selections already made. We also need to prepare the sections of the reinforced concrete walls. As we saw, the walls have a very complex section. This section cannot be obviously designed by tools, but it can be checked. Unless we have a predefined geometry of walls, which is one of those, rectangular, L-shaped, T-shaped, U-shaped, Z and S-shaped, all other arbitrary geometries have to be checked. They cannot be designed, meaning that we have to give the geometry and the rebar allocation. In order to do that, we can either prepare them from an AutoCAD using an auto list function which is provided by 3p software or we can prepare them directly within NUS. NUS is a standalone part of EC tools which does section analysis so it prepares the sections for the analysis. We will see here for example one of these sections that we have already prepared. We double click on it and see it. 
this is obviously the section defined as W5 it is actually this one we have the geometry and we also have the read bars of it so we start the same applies for all wall sections we start the analysis after we read the input data we go to the start of the design we have to see that we have very a lot of beams 314 322 columns and 59 walls we get this intermediate table which shows the materials the sections and the section assignments to beams columns and walls we also update it with these walls to be checked the sections that are to be checked and we see that the materials can be edited or even add new ones the same applies for the sections they can be edited or we can add new ones any type of section either predefined or even general section which can be edited within news as shown previously and they can be assigned to beams, columns and walls or even the new ones can be assigned these changes are very useful because sometimes when we run the analysis there is the problem that a section is not adequate and we need to enlarge it instead of rerunning the analysis which takes a lot of time we change it in easy tools which is much faster check if the design is ok and then update using this button here our E2K model imported into ETABS and rerun the analysis and the final design in order to have the correct stiffnesses in our model we now run the analysis we allocate each load case to its name meaning the dead, the live, the seismic citation in the X and Y direction we select that the snow and wind load cases are treated as non-seismic meaning not great but fully checked and we run the design we see how fast the design is being performed this is the main feature of our algorithm that allows such fast analysis and we end up with this report which is the final deliverable of our design this report has all the general information it has the calculated Q factor it has the section ductility calculated we have the automatic combination of generations of combinations excuse me we also have the local safety factors we have the load cases that have been created and designed as seismic or non-seismic we have all the story checks meaning the, uh, the second order effects the maximum displacements, the seismic joints, the interstory drifts and the sensitive or non-sensitive infields we have the torsional checks this building is obviously torsionally sensitive we have to see whether we are excluding the joint capacity design it's not excluded and then we have the fire design of beams, columns and walls and then we have the actual design of beams, columns and walls for beams, columns and walls by changing the moving our cursor around in this bar chart we can see the design we see for example that the beam this beam 222 in ground floor has been designed according to these combinations and it requires this reinforcement the same applies for columns where we see that for a specific column we have the combination that the reinforcement resulted from and we can also open it by double clicking here in news and actually investigate it further and the same applies for walls where we see that we have walls that might require even a bigger confinement length and we can change this or not it is found as adequate and we don't need to change anything so this is the final analysis 
and design report that is being created by EasyTools. Thank you very much.